Hiya, I'm just going to show you um, our, my simple solution to attaching um, an electronic telepilot to an URI's wind vane. The reasons for it um, are, you know, you ask, well, why would you just put it on the tiller itself? Power consumption. Power consumption is everything, isn't it? On a, a little boat at sea. You're, so basically, you're just attaching it up onto the wind vane. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. And it's taking the place of the wind. And it takes very little pressure just to move that, cock that little arm backwards and forwards. Your wind vane, Aries, or whatever it is, is connected as it would be any other time for the wind. And um, so that's actually doing the work. The rudder in the water is doing the work. And that's really just acting as the wind. I've seen all fancy kinds of solutions for little ball joints and um, universal joints that sit in the top and swivel and everything. I've gone for a more direct approach. At the end, where you've got a little indent in for it to sit on, the tiller arm, I've just drilled straight through. Cable tie, cable tie loop, attached it to the top of the vane, sat at this end on the rail, a simple piece of aluminium with a hole drilled through it. And I'll just take the camera off and I'll just show you exactly what I mean. Thank you. All right, there you go. Here you can see the end where the tiller pilot is attached. Yeah, it's a simple cable tie. Just go straight in where your wind vane would go and then screwed in just to hold it in place. Now I've had this cable tie since we left Preston. Uh, we're now at Morocco, Mohammedia. We've used it quite a lot to be honest with you because the wind's been very light. As you can see it's quite an old um, tiller pilot and not a particularly powerful one but it will steer within two degrees all day all night, not a problem. Here you can see at the base, if you look down there, yeah, you can just see, yeah, just a hole in the plate, that goes through, and I usually just put a cable tie through here at sea, just to secure it. Uh, to alter position, it's a matter of just leaning over, switch it on first, yep, it's already on, so, it, there we go, in and out, okay, easy as that, and now it'll compass in here obviously we'll just keep the course. Now uh, that's our simple solution. I hope it helps you. Speak to you in a bit. Bye bye. Just an addition to the uh, the last video. Um, when I first put it on uh, the thing was going around in circles and I thought it wasn't going to work. All it is you need to turn it around 180 degrees. Just show man. If it's an Aries set it this way with the screw the thumb screw away from you and you'll be fine. But when I first put it on That'll be clever, and that lovely looking T-piece of a connection there was a great place to put the cable tie. Doesn't work, it just goes around in circles. Turn it 180 degrees. Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt, easy as that. Thank you, and goodbye.